All right, moving on. We are moving to a 7 p.m. Eastern time game on Stadium. That's right. UTSA, the Roadrunners, headed to Western Kentucky. The Hilltoppers are a a three-and-a-half-point favorite, man. This line has actually gotten bigger. It opened at two. Now it's at the three-and-a-half, total of 70. Uh, Look, UTSA is going to be able to run all over Western Kentucky with Sincere McCormick. You know, Zap is going to be able to throw the ball, I think, a little bit on UTSA. We saw that with Memphis and and other teams have been able to move the ball. Uh, UTSA is 7-1 and one against the spread their last eight as a road underdog. And I don't think that train stops here. Like, I, I think this is going to be a fantastic ball game. It's going to be uh, very close. And if you're giving me more than a field goal, like, absolutely, I'm going to take that. I think that their passing defense will be able to slow down Western Kentucky enough. Western Kentucky, remember, coming off playing two Big Ten teams. They, they played Indiana at home, and they had to go to Michigan State last week, and now you get to come home and play UTSA? That's not the kind of schedule that I would set up, personally. But either way, I, uh, I'm i going to roll with the Roadrunners here. I think they keep this magic going a little bit, and I will uh, I will certainly have them in the in the round robin for Saturday morning. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah this is my underdog special. They, I think they're going to win. I don't, I don't – Western Kentucky has – I. I don't know. They played a couple of Power Five teams and not looked awful. Okay, like is is that grounds for being favored in this game? Their offense. Like, you is... played Indiana. You played Indiana close. Good job. You played Michigan State. Maybe closer than people think. Okay, then you beaten up on UT Martin. All right. I like. I don't know. What are we supposed to do with that? Their their offense is absolutely legit. Like it's it's pretty unbelievable. But yes, I, I see where you're coming from. So I All right, well, let me tell you another team whose offense is pretty good. Okay, University of Memphis Tigers. UTSA went in there and shut them down. They scored right. 21 points, and then they didn't score again the rest of the game. Another one would be actually UTSA. UTS uh, UTSA's offense is actually really good. Sincere McCormick is going to have. Oh to yeah, that's the team we're talking about. Though they're, yeah. they're really good. Yeah, like, no, I'm with you. I just don't. I don't know how they're. I don't know how they're catching points. I just don't. Maybe this is a trick by Vegas. And they're going to steal all our money. But I, I, I got a team that's five and zero against a team that's one and three. And I'm, I'm, I know what I'm doing. It's it definitely like the line stinks, right? The, the line certainly stinks. But uh, like I said, if you just, I mean, look at these offenses. It could get difficult for UTSA to be able to keep up if, you know if they're not able to, to do anything in this game. Western Kentucky, actually, the number one passing offense in the country. They've got the highest QBR in the country, 17 touchdowns passing, two interceptions. They are just absurd, just absurd. So they they do have a great offense. They were not able to keep up with some of these bigger teams. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take UTSA. So we'll, we'll both ride with the Roadrunners there. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.